Welcome to this lesson about finding a missing side. In this video, I'll be going over how to find a missing side of a right triangle using sine, cosine, or tangent. In a right triangle, if you have one angle other than the right angle, so one of the acute angles, and one side, you can solve for any other side. So you need one of the acute angles and one side length given to you. So here are the steps. First, you want to label the sides. And you label them based on the acute angle that you are given. So you're going to label them opposite, adjacent, and hypotenuse. And make a little note, you label them based on the acute angle. Next, you want to identify what trig ratio to use, either sine, cosine, or tangent. Number three, you're going to set up an equation. And then last, you want to solve for the missing side. All right, so let's look at some examples. So in this first example, when we set up our equation, our missing side x is going to be in the numerator. So let's follow our steps first. Let's label our side. So I would find the hypotenuse first. Remember, it's always across from the right angle. So that would be 186. And then you use the acute angle that you are given, so in this case 30, to label the other two sides. So opposite would be across from it. Adjacent is going to be right next to it. All right, now you don't actually need all three sides. You only need the two sides that have a value on it. So you need this one and this one. Notice the opposite side doesn't have anything written on it, so you really don't need to label that. I would just label it in the beginning just to make sure you're comfortable with knowing what side is what, but once you label it, you can erase that side that you don't need. So in this problem, I have the adjacent and the hypotenuse. All right, let's write out our Sokotoa. So the trig ratio that uses adjacent and hypotenuse is cosine. So I'm going to, all right, so I've labeled the sides. I've identified the trig ratio. Now I'm going to set up the equation. So cosine. And then in parentheses, you write the acute angle equals. And then remember, cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse. So the adjacent side is x, the hypotenuse is 186. So this is what I'm talking about when it says x is in the numerator. So to solve and get x by itself, we can multiply by 186 on both sides. So this is going to cancel. So I just have x. So in my calculator, I'm going to type 186 times cosine of 30. Alright, and when you type that in, you should get 161.1 if you round to the tenths place. And then we do have a unit of measure here, so feet. So that means this side of the triangle is 161.1 feet. Alright, let's try when x is in the denominator. So I'm going to follow the same steps. I'm going to label my sides. So this is my hypotenuse. It's across from my right angle. Then I'm going to use the acute angle to label my other two. So this is opposite. This one has to be adjacent. Okay, so we don't need the hypotenuse in this problem, so I'm going to go ahead and erase that. We just need opposite and adjacent. So go back to Sokotoa. That's going to be tangent. So tangent of 23 equals, and tangent is opposite over adjacent. So opposite is 55, adjacent is x. So as you can see, x is in the denominator. So for this one, what we can do is multiply by x on both sides first. So this one has a couple more steps. So I'm going to multiply by x first to get it out of that denominator. 
So then I have, I'm going to write it like this, tangent of 23x equals 55. And a tangent of 23, those are stuck together, so don't separate those. That's one value together. I can divide by that on both sides so that I can get x by itself. So that will cancel. So in my calculator, I can type in 55 divided by tangent of 23. And you should get 129.6 centimeters oops so that means this side length has a length of 129.6 centimeters so just to recap if x is in the numerator i'm going to multiply If x is in the denominator, I'm going to be dividing in my calculator. Okay, let's try a couple other examples together. All right, so number one, pause the video now and see if you can label your sides and determine the trig ratio to use. Okay, so 18 is my hypotenuse x is opposite. We don't need the adjacent side because there's nothing written there, so in this problem you should have chosen sine. Alright, so let's set up our equation. So sine of 44 equals, remember Sokotoa, you're going to be writing that all the time, so get used to writing that. So sine is opposite over hypotenuse, so opposite is x, hypotenuse is 18. All right, so x is in the numerator. I'm going to be multiplying by both sides. So in my calculator, I'm going to type 18 times the sine of 49. And I get about, oops, sorry, the sine of 44. <laughs> 18 times the sine of 44, and you get about 12.5 inches. All right, and then in the last example, all right, so x is my hypotenuse. 58 is here. It's right next to 30, so that would be adjacent. So this one would be cosine. So cosine of 58 equals, so adjacent comes first and then hypotenuse, so 30 over x. All right, so we can multiply by x on both sides and then divide by cosine of 58 on both sides. You may start to figure out that there's really a shortcut. You can just take 30 divided by cosine of 58. And then when you type that in your calculator, you get 56.6 millimeters. And that is the length of the hypotenuse. Okay, you can stop the video now and go ahead and complete find a missing side practice and check it with your teacher.